We have faces mugs. All right now, folks. <laughs> so it's cold. You're probably digging at the bottom of your drawer looking for that sweater, that cardigan, what have you. Well, some of those garments don't look like they did when we put them away after last winter. Moths have had their way with them, prompting us to ask why. Well, here's our why guy. The weather is starting to turn chilly. You reach for that sweater your wife gave you for your birthday. Guess what? It's full of holes. Some moth treated your birthday present like it was birthday cake. Why do moths devour our clothes? It's not all moths. In fact, there are two types that dine on your clothes, the webbing clothes moth and the slightly smaller case making clothes moth. And it's not the flying adult moths that eat your wardrobe. It's the larvae. Clothes moths have evolved from feeding on animal feathers and fur to any type of animal based product that includes your wool birthday sweater, that fur coat, even that shirt that has silk in it. The clothes moths can get into your home by hitching a ride on your pet or some old clothes you bought at a flea market. An adult can fly inside and lay up to 300 larvae producing eggs. Cleaning your favorite wool item will kill any eggs or larvae that may be attached and removes the perspiration smell that the clothes moths find attractive. If you're putting something away for the winter, store it in an airtight plastic bag. Mothballs are still a thing, but make sure to use the proper amount. That way, just maybe, your new sweater will last from one birthday to another. Okay, now we know. So if you have a question for Jerry Carnes, the why guy, we want you to send it over to him. I'm staring at him right now. <laughs> send it to his Facebook, his Twitter, or his email. And he's waving to you guys, folks. He